Hey everybody, welcome to CES 2018 with Netgear. Really excited for this year. It's a brand new year. We have brand new products, brand new promotions. Really excited to bring it straight to you guys on YouTube and social channels. But I want to introduce our hosts. Hi everybody, I'm Allison. I'll be your host this week at CES here for Netgear. We're going to go check out our showroom floor and talk to a bunch of people. And I'm your boy Dustin. And I almost forgot, my name's Chris Salazar. Um, Dustin and I will be kind of riding along with, uh, with Allison. She's gonna kind of coordinate us wherever we go. We're also gonna be on the CES showroom. So anything that you guys wanna check out, let us know and we'll go ahead and do that. So for 2018, we're really excited because Netgear has just knocked it out of the park in terms of their products, uh, different smart services that we're offering. So we're really excited. One of the things though that we wanted to highlight right off the bat is Nighthawk Pro Gaming. So we're all wearing the jerseys. We're really excited about Nighthawk Pro Gaming. It's a big deal for us. Nobody can say it better than Alex Box. So let's go ahead and tune into Alex Box. He's going to give us a quick introduction of what that is, what the product is, and there's also something special in there. So take it away, Alex Box. Hi, I'm Alex Box, Manager of Digital Innovation here at Netgear, and I've got a couple awesome updates that I want to give you. Just today we announced two new cool products, the Nighthawk XR500 Gaming Router and the Nighthawk SX10 Gaming Switch. These, are, these two new products are going to revolutionize your gaming experience. The XR500 has a customizable user interface. You can set geo-filtering, you can block IP addresses, and you can set where you want to connect to your servers on any kind of peer-to-peer -peer connection to dominate your game. The SX10 Gaming Switch has 10 Ethernet ports eight one gig ports and two multi gig ports to ensure that no matter where you are in your house as long as you're on a wired connection you're going to have the best connection possible it also has customizable rgb lights because who doesn't like rgb lights not only that but this morning we announced our official jersey sponsorship of the Seoul dynasty team in the overwatch league this is a huge opportunity for us. We're super excited for Seoul Dynasty, and we know that they're going to dominate and be number one. So stay tuned tomorrow uh, at 8 p.m., where Seoul Dynasty will be playing Dallas Fuel in their first official match in the Overwatch League. Also, stay tuned for more CES footage. I'm Alex Box from San Jose. Have a great day. Thanks, Alex. So we're really excited about Seoul Dynasty new partnership with us, we just announced it today. This is gonna be great for us. They're actually competing later today. We're gonna to keep you guys up to date with all of that. Uh, Dustin on the social side, you're gonna make sure Facebook, Twitter, everything, you're up to date. Um, in addition, there's also a variety of other CES products that we're launching, we're announcing, that we're really excited about. I think Dustin, you wanna talk about a few. Yeah, definitely. So uh, Orbi, obviously the Wi-Fi system that everyone uh, knows and loves. Um, we, we announced a couple of brand new uh, satellite add-ons, uh, one being the uh, more compact version, uh, which is going to be uh, you know, a little bit better for um, homes with, with a smaller environment, you know, apartments, condos. Um, and then, of course, we do have the outdoor Orbi. So not only, not only are you going to have great Wi-Fi indoors, you're going to take that great Wi-Fi outdoors to your pool, your yard, wherever. I can't wait for outdoor Orbi. Yeah. That's going to be awesome. Uh, we also have Arlo Smart. Um, and so I know that uh, a lot of us own Arlo Smart, but Allison, you in particular, uh, you own an Arlo camera. So maybe you could talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. So one thing I notice about my Arlo camera is there's a tree that always gets in the way and sets off my emotion alerts. Uh, one thing I'm really looking forward to um, in late in Q1 of 2018, we're going to roll out Arlo Smart and one of the features is going to be activity zones. So now you can cut out that activity zone where that tree usually moves and sends you all those unnecessary notifications. Another thing I'm really looking forward to is person detection. So whether you, it's you yourself setting off your own Arlo camera all the time, it will learn to recognize you. And then from there, you can filter out your own notifications from yourself. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. In addition to that, we also have uh, Netgear Business. So this is our SMB side of the business. We have Netgear Insight. Uh, our product managers are going to walk you guys through the user interface of our software. Uh, but basically, you're able to monitor your network from anywhere, anytime that you want. A mobile device, desktop device, no matter what it is. That's going to be pretty great. Okay, so enough about us. Let's go ahead and transition over to Heidi Cormick, our SVP of Corporate Marketing, and Patrick Lowe, our CEO, who are at the Netgear showroom. Hi everyone, my name's Heidi. I'm Senior Vice President for Netgear Global Marketing and I'm here today with our CEO and co-founder of Netgear, Patrick Lowe. So Patrick, 
22 years of innovation. Here we are again in Las Vegas for CES 2018. Tell me what's exciting for Netgear this year. Right, last year at CES, we kicked off a very successful year by introducing two very exciting ecosystems, the Arlo as well as Orbi, which both were grown triple digit for the year. And to follow that up this year, we're introducing two brand new ecosystems mm -hmm. to complement that. One is Nighthawk Pro Gaming, yeah. and the other one is Insight for SMB. Right, and we've also won six innovation awards for CES this year. So let's talk about some of those products and some of the things that we're gonna feature here today um, at CES. So Orbi, outdoor. Uh, certainly, as I said, right, last year we kicked off the two brand new ecosystem, Allo and Orbi. So this CES, we are strengthening that. We're rounding out even more products and outdoor Orbi certainly is in addition to the Orbi ecosystem. But on top of that, even Arlo, we're introducing Arlo Lite, which is also rounding out the Arlo ecosystem. Okay. But on top of that, now we are introducing the two new ecosystem. One is Nighthawk Pro Gaming, and the other one is Insight. Now, Insight is actually one of the six innovation award that we got this time because it's a breakthrough technology. Nobody has ever done it before, not even for SMB networking, but even for enterprise networking. That with a single app, no matter where you are, as long as you have internet access on your phone, you will be able to manage wireless LAN, switching and storage of your company or multiple companies from one location. Fantastic, and Nighthawk. So Nighthawk's long been a brand recognized by gamers for high performance hardware. It's pretty exciting that we're launching the new Nighthawk Pro Gaming brand here today. But I think I'm more excited than you do because <laughs> my, 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 my jersey is you know, more colorful than yours. Yes, we, we are so excited about the new ecosystem, Nighthawk Pro Gaming, because as we all know, over the last five, six years, gaming has already evolved into a single player single PC play, which spawned an entire industry of performance PCs, performance peripherals such as keyboards and mouse, into today is a big eSport event, which is actually holding what we call gaming parties across the internet. Gamers do not play locally in the house anymore. Gamers play against other gamers over the internet. So even though over the last five, six years, there has tremendous progress in CPU, in graphics card, in, in mouse, in keyboards, in chairs, everybody has ignored the most central piece of gaming, which is connectivity to the internet. And we're so proud to be the first and the only one making significant contribution into network acceleration for gaming. Fantastic. So let's go take a look at all the products now, Absolutely. shall we? Okay, so Patrick, here we are in the Netgear showroom for CES 2018. Let's check out all the cool products. Hi, I am Xavi. I'm the Switch PLM for the SX10, our first industry switch with 10 gig multi gig built in with 8 port gigabit and 2 port 10 gig multi gig. It comes with a unique gaming dashboard that allows you to control everything on your network, your bandwidth, your priority on your devices, and also reduce the latency on your network. And also it has fully RGB LED customizable that you can change the color, the brightness of them, and the best industrial design with 100% premium aluminum enclosure, that's the SX10. So thank you guys for your time. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks, Heidi. Thanks, Xavi. We have a lot of exciting news coming out from Netgear this week at CES, so we're going to go back to San Jose to hear a little bit more. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Netgear's headquarters here in San Jose. Thanks for tuning in to this year's CES live stream. I'm your host, Apoorva Agarwal, and also part of SMB Product Launch. So we have a couple of exciting product launches, and I'm sure you guys have probably have heard the big news. So to help me out, I have Joshua Ding and Angela Medell. Hey guys, I'm Josh Ding, Digital Production Manager leading Global Web Marketing here at Netgear. And I'm Angelo, and I do Community Marketing. Um, I was a part, I was a camera guy last year for CES, but this year I will actually be controlling the live stream from our San Jose headquarters. So why weren't you invited back yeah, this year? Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. All right, you guys, I can see that this is already starting to get out of hand. Josh, why don't you kick us off with a couple of things that we're going to be talking about in this segment? 
Yeah, sure thing. Um, as Aporva mentioned, a lot of big news coming out of Las Vegas at CES 2018 this year. Of course, starting off with a new line of Orbi routers, going to our Inside 4.0 app, and of course the big news, Nighthawk Pro Gaming, um, with these two products you see in front of me here. But the biggest news of all, we've got a new website. But does anyone actually care about the website, Josh? Then what do they care about, Angelo? See, we actually have something pretty cool behind us. Um, uh, you'll see in our later segments, but it's pretty cool. Definitely, and we'll get back to that. Um, much later on, but why don't you guys talk about those cool jerseys that you guys are wearing? Yeah, so uh, take I'll, I'll take this one. So um, this is our actually a part of our new Nighthawk Pro Gaming team here at Netgear. Um, so to go in with our two product launches, our XR500 Gaming Router and our SX10 Gaming Switch, you know, we really wanted to get into the head of you know gamers who really actually do play video games, some competitively, competitively, some casually. Um, so we took some of the best gamers here at Netgear and we made our own esports team. So this is where these gamer, uh, these, uh, gamer jerseys come from. Well, thanks for the invite, Angelo. Oh, that's his fault. I don't know why that's me. <laughs> you were anyway, handling the sign -ups. <laughs> I, I don't know. Anyway, anyway. All right, let's get back to the segment, you guys. Oh, yeah. So, um, you know, obviously that's awesome news for us. You know, really happy that, you know, we launched this internal pro gaming team. And, you know, I haven't played any sort of sports in an organized manner in my entire life. I'm assuming you haven't either. but. Um, you know, when I heard we were getting jerseys, I kept thinking to myself, you know, when else in my life am I going to get a chance to wear a jersey with my last name on it? So I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that. Sounds like someone made it big time. Yeah, and no, I'm proud of it. Totally proud of it. <laughs> Fair enough. And obviously, we have big news coming out of Los Angeles with Netgear announcing its sponsorship with Korean Seoul Dynasty. Yeah, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, so, you know, Netgear is really proud to announce a new sponsorship uh, with Korean Seoul Dynasty, which is the number one ranked team in the Overwatch League at this point. So, for those of you who don't know, the Overwatch League is kind of becoming the NFL of esports, um, you know, based around Blizzard's uh, really popular Overwatch game. And it's kind of the third partnership that we've announced with the pro gaming team, uh, the others being Ninjas in Pajamas, and uh, the other being Avant Garde. And what this really represents for us is, you know, going step above with this new Nighthawk Pro Gaming brand. Because let's face it, you know, Netgear is not new to the gaming to the gaming space. You know, we've had our traditional line of Nighthawk products with the S8000 and some of the other routers. Um, but this time around, we changed our methodology a little bit. We thought, you know, instead of going out to the to the casual gamer or the hardcore gamer, why don't we reach out to the pro teams and really figure out what their pain points are in terms of network connectivity solutions? Um, so, you know, after getting that focus group together and getting the results and really taking a look at Netgear's innovation, um, we came up with this Nighthawk Pro Gaming uh, line of products, which is really a cut above anything else in the market today, we think, um, because of the fact that they offer so many advanced management solutions and they offer so much new hardware that you simply don't get with some of the other competitive products. And of course, you know, we had our pro teams test this. Uh, we kind of just threw at them and said, try to break it. Did they? Uh, of course not. It's, it's a Netgear product. <laughs> Good answer. So now that both of you are on the Night, Nighthawk Pro Gaming team, uh, why don't you share with the audience, you know, a little bit more about your personal gaming experience? Yeah, um, I could go first. So I've been pretty much gaming my entire life. Uh, I grew up on consoles, though. So I grew up on Nintendo and I grew up on Sony. So that meant one of my first consoles was the N64. Um, we had an SNES in the house. Um, we had GameCube. I was obsessed with the Wii. Um, and then it goes on from there, right? I have a Switch at home. It's great. Um, and then I grew up on Sony too, so that's the PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, um, and also I've been super into racing games pretty much my entire life. Um, so, you know, that's, that means there's a lot of single player and a lot of just, um, you know, offline play. So I'm just like trying to beat my record time, trying to beat career mode, um, and stick with that. So that's why I'm kind of really excited because, you know, I've, you know, I'm kind of on top of the trends in gaming, and a lot of it is online. A lot of it is competitive. You know, so that's why today I'm playing Rocket League and Gran Turismo Sport because I don't really get a lot of that offline play I used to get when I was a kid. So that's why I'm really excited to see you know how the XR500 and SX10 will play into you know a lot of gamers' lives because you know this is something that you know we really haven't seen before in the market. Um, so that's kind of my take on my game experience, Josh. What do you yeah. Think? He's really proud of the fact that he's good at Gran Turismo, but I managed to beat him over two seconds a lap quicker with the that same car on the happen. same track. That's a technicality. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, going back to the to the question, no, I, I started off on the N64 as a lot of kids back in my day that did, and then I upgraded to an Xbox pretty late into that product's life cycle. Actually, right around the Xbox 360 was coming out, didn't really get a chance to play much. Um, then I kind of went into high school, 
fell in love with the PC as a platform just because of the upgradability. Um, I know I'm going to offend a lot of console guys by saying that, um, but I loved it, but didn't really have a good enough rig at the time to play the modern games. It was COD 4 and um, Crisis back then. You know, after graduating from my master's degree, I found a little bit more time, was able to build up my own rig and really keep up with the, uh, with the modern technology. And man, I got to say, just the pace of improvement with you know, all this hardware is, is pretty nuts. Back in high school, we were going crazy over quad-core processors. Now we're talking hexa-core and octa-core processors becoming the norm. So it's just incredible to see, to see that, that innovation. Awesome. And what games do you play nowadays, Josh? Yeah, it's a, a lot of Forza, uh, to be honest. Um, you know, I'm a big car guy, and I had a really brief stint doing amateur go-kart enduro racing, but you know, that gets really expensive really quick. Um, and I know that some of the cars that I want, I'll never be able to afford in my life. Um, so it's cheaper to buy a console in a racing sim. Um, and to be honest, in a lot of those skills that you get you know, owning on a track, trying to be your own personal lap record, you can really apply to real life HPDE. Uh, and I've seen a lot of racing sims that actually start the guys off in the game as a feeder series to the actual thing, um, much similar to the way where you go from Formula 3 to Formula 2 to Formula 1. Perfect. And then you mentioned that you took a break and then you got back into gaming. Yep. How so, was that? So yeah, it, that was more due to the social aspect, although it, was, it had a lot to do with the time. But you know, after college, a lot of people move away, regardless that's you know, because of a new job or they're moving back home. Um, but I play a lot of Destiny 2 now as well, and that's kind of the direct opposite of Forza. It's a multiplayer-only type of environment where you can really grab a group of friends, you know, play together. You know, it really beats the traditional Skype call or even the phone phone call or text um, because you're actually doing something together. You're being active, and it feels like you're together because you actually are in sort of this virtual sense. So it's a lot of fun, and you know, you feel together, you feel that closeness, that camaraderie. Um, so it really brings people together in that sense where. You wouldn't be able to do it remotely. So. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for sharing your personal experience with the audience. Um, Angela, what else do we have planned for our, our live stream audience? Yeah. So personally, I am very excited about this year's live stream. We're actually really upping the ante from uh, what we did last year. We're actually giving you about like three times the amount of content. So that's going to be really cool. So for today, um, we're actually going to be at our Netgear showroom on the 17th floor of the Marriott here in, uh, in Las Vegas. Um, so that's right across the convention center. So that means it's invite only. So that's press only, partners only, and the Netgear team. So this is going to be your inside scoop um, onto our new product launches. Um, you know, onto you know, get into the heads of the people who made the products themselves. And you know, we'll be going around that room. And then for day two, we're actually going to be at CES Tech East, actually down on the convention center floor. So that's going to be our big gaming day, you know, just as our mm -hmm. introduction to Nighthawk Pro Gaming. Um, we're going to really, um, you know, take a deep dive into those companies who are really innovating that gaming space um, and really see, you know, what, where the future lies in terms of that. And then day number three, um, we're going to be in the Venetian Ballroom. Uh, we're actually going to be looking at IoT and Smart Home. So for, are you, for all you Arlo viewers out there, that's going to be really cool for you guys to see because um, the future is in the smart home. And you know, uh, with Arlo, we have our smart home security products. So um, you know, it's a really good way to see you know, uh, the future of Arlo and the future of where the smart home is going. And then on our last day, this is going to be something um, brand new that we're doing. We actually have an exclusive room in the CES Convention Center. Um, another room, it's our NetEar News Desk. So we have uh, one of our event coordinators, Allison. Um, she will be interviewing the uh, product managers 101 um, in that room. We'll be going over Orby. We'll be going over Nighthawk Pro Gaming and you know a lot of the other new um, exciting product launches we have this year. And um, yeah, you'll be able to really get a deep dive into you know what our new products are for you know CES and beyond. Awesome. Well, looking forward to it. And adding to that excitement, we've actually partnered with Beta to launch our own pop-up retail store in Santana Row. And we'll be actually taking you there later this week. Um, so stay tuned. Awesome. Um, Josh, you got anything else? Yeah. But speaking of products, Ooh. what's your favorite product launch so far at CES? OK, yeah. So I'm going to take the Ferrari. I'm going to take XR500 <laughs> Gaming Router. Did. Of course you did. <laughs> um, this is actually something really cool to me. This is something that you know I haven't really seen uh, much on the market. Uh, what's really the most exciting thing for me on the XR500 gaming router is the OS that powers it. So we've actually partnered with um, a company called Naduma. Um, they make this really sophisticated, you know, gaming dashboard. So you'll be able to see, you know, is there, is there anyone congesting your network? You'll be able to set, you know, geo filters. So if you really want to truly play with people in North America or you know the West Coast, you'll be able to do that. 
um, you know, there's just a lot of cool things that you know I've never seen before. And as a gamer myself, like you know, that's something that really appeals to me. So, Aparola. I think I'm gonna go with the SX10 gaming nice. switch. Um, I think gamers are going to really like the RGB LED light controls, and they're also going to really like the gaming gap dashboard. Cool. Good yeah. stuff. What about you, Josh? Uh, <laughs> not the obvious answer, <laughs> to be truthful. Um, so obviously the SX10, the XR500, you know, th those are cut above everything else. Um, you know, in my eyes at CES, you know, I truly love the products, but I think the most interesting one that I've seen coming out is actually this, the, the, or the outdoor Orbi or the, the, the outdoor satellite. That's because I've had a lot of friends actually come up to me and say, you know, hey, I've got the Orbi. It works great indoors, but things not waterproof. I can't take it outside, and I've got a large backyard. So the, if you can't get your range out all the way there to your backyard, you need something else to help you extend that range. So now, you know, if I'm going to my buddy's place, he's got a big backyard, you can actually have, you know, connected devices out there, smartphones, speakers, you know, all that stuff will work, and he doesn't have to worry about range. So pretty cool little addition to the Orbi family. I'm really excited to see that the team uh, actually rolled this out. I'm really, really uh, hoping to see this getting widely used. So. Yeah, awesome. Cool. All right, thanks everyone and stay tuned. Awesome, right. we'll see you guys soon. Thanks guys. Thanks San Jose. As you can tell, we're really excited about um, CES over here in Las Vegas. A lot of exciting topics trending. Um, I know I'm really excited to see all the new developments of artificial intelligence, AI, and how it's becoming more stackable these days into larger scale things. Um, Dustin, I know you mentioned you saw something earlier that you were really excited about. Yeah, well, one of the things that, that caught my eye is as soon as uh, you know, we landed here in Vegas, we were at the airport, um, I seen this ad for the smart bathroom. And, and I mean, hey, aside from your living room, maybe even your kitchen, what, what other room do you spend the most of your time in? Whether you're getting ready or whatever you're doing. On Facebook. Watching hey, Nick here. There you go. <laughs> the bathroom. So smart bathroom, the concept of it. Kind of curious to see what it's all about. Read something about smart mirrors, smart toilets. So who knows where that's going to go. But hey, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty curious to see where that, where that leads us to. Absolutely. Um, one of the other things, too, that I'm looking forward to is the autonomous cars cars that drive themselves. Um, there's actually uh, something that we can uh, stay in line for for quite a bit of time um, and actually uh, be in one of these cars that has no driver, which to me is out of this world. It's kind of crazy, but then also I know that the future is kind of getting there. So, you know, one day I want to be able to take a trip, a road trip, which I don't really like, but be able to like, you know, watch Netflix the whole time in the back. I mean, that's the ultimate uh, kind of paradise for me. So yeah, pretty cool. I agree. I yeah. Agree. One of the other big trending topics here at CES 2018 is 5G. So to step up from your 4G LTE network, uh, we have a couple of Netgear devices that actually run on the 4G LTE. So um, in the near future, they're all going to step up to this 5G. So 5G connectivity based off the 802.11 AC standard um, for Wi-Fi and really excited to see where that mobile broad broadband network gets us next year. Um, tune back in with us tomorrow. Same time, same place on this live stream. We'll see you then. We'll see you then.